Hi everyone, it's Helen. I hope you're well. Super quick summary of this week's Squiggly Careers podcast episode. It is the second in our series of things to focus on outside of work to help you improve your performance inside of work. And this week we're talking about sleep. We borrow some brilliance from two very brainy books, uh, one written by Dr. Russell Foster, uh, which is Lifetime, talks a lot about your body clock, uh, lots and lots of science in there. And then the second one that Sarah reads is Why We Sleep from Matthew Walker. Some similar research but actually a different approach in both of the books. Um, But as ever, we try and pick out the really actionable stuff that can help you do something different in your work. Some of the things that really stuck out for me, um, the role of sleep in memories. So when we think about being learn it alls at work, and that is super important for squiggly careers, actually sleep is a really big part of memory consolidation. So we will remember a lot more of what we learned if we make sure that we get the sleep that we need. I also thought it was fascinating, the role of light. Um, I think you hear quite a lot about, you know, uh, SAD in the winter time when people feel, you know, more depressed because they're not getting that light. But actually, in terms of sort of resetting our body clock, getting to light as quickly as possible in the morning is a really big part of that. Uh, And I was also really intrigued by the percentage of people that are morning people and night people because Sarah and I are such opposites here. So apparently 10% of people are like me. Uh, We are the morning people. Uh, we love we love getting up early getting things done but we are in the minority so we are quite irritating for the majority of people Uh, 25% of people are nighttime owls so that's a bit more like Sarah Uh, so they kind of come to life in the evening but actually the majority of people so 65% of people are what's called a dove that was a new term to me and so kind of a bit more flexible really a bit more bit more in the middle less affected by mornings and evenings but what's really interesting in the books is that you need to design your day around around your body clock so you know for me I need to do the work that needs the most effort and energy in the morning for Sarah that might be in the evening and the more that you can do that the better it is for your performance so we talk about all those things distill as many ideas for actions as we can into the episode um, and the episode is supported by a pod sheet so once you've listened if you want to put it into action maybe after a good night's sleep you can download the pod sheet and it will help you to do that Next week, we are talking about money. It's actually the podcast that we're recording today. uh, And it's an area that Sarah and I would definitely like some support with. So we will share our learnings with you and put them into action ourselves too. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast.